Hello, today we're going to be taking a look at the pattern book Unicorn and Dragons. And this is a fantasy amigurumi book that has quite a few cute patterns to work with. And I want to take a look at what the book has to offer and then show you a couple of completed projects. The book has 14 patterns and each pattern is created by a different person. So you're getting a variety of different uh, projects to make and each one has its own special flair because it was created by a, a different individual making it. As with most crochet tutorial books, it does have the section where you have your basic materials. I let you know that there are skill levels for the different projects and also at the different stitches that are going to be in the book. So if you need a refresher or to see how one is done, it'll be right there for you. I want to go through and show all the different patterns that the book has to offer. So we're going to start off with Nessie the Loch Ness Monster, Pinch the Goblin, Griffy the Griffin, Emily the Little Mermaid, Koji the Baby Dragon, Molly the Tooth Fairy, Perryton the Deer with Wings, Lily the Water Nymph, Cargo the Mushroom Fairy, Harriet the Pegasus, Drake the Dragon, Bobby the Dinocorn, Kiki the Phoenix, Unicorn Bell. So I wanted to point out a couple things um, when you're working with the projects is it has a really nice layout of what it is you're going to need to complete it. And then whatever you see that this uh, doll has, you, they're going to show you how to make it as well. So you're not just having to get the doll and then wonder how did they do the rest of the little accessories. They're going to have that included in with it. And again, they have the skill level. Uh, Molly would be 13 inches or 33 centimeters tall. And then they tell you how tall the tooth is going to be. And then a cute little uh, description of each character is included. There are also really nice pictures, um, so you're able to see how the details of a part of the uh, project is being completed. And I just think it's nice that they're bright pictures on a white background, so when you're trying to look through and just to see how something was done, uh, you don't have to look and try to really guess what they're doing. I think they did a really good job with the photos. Another nice thing about this book is how you can easily customize these projects uh, to suit whatever you're wanting to create. You know, they've written the pattern so well that, you know, if you want to change anything, do different colors, add a horn uh, to the Pegasus, that would be something that you'd be able to go to one of the unicorn patterns, grab the horn from there, put it on here. There's a lot of stuff that you can do to kind of really change things up and get so much more out of this book, which is already giving you so much to begin with, but it gives you that option to really go through and change things up to get even more out of it. I wanna show you next two of the projects I made from the book. And this is Belle with the Unicorn. And the instructions for me were really easy to follow and I didn't have any problems. So this one's kind of a, a little goofy looking, but that's my skill level, definitely not the instructions. And I went with some bigger eyes than they recommended in the book. But I found the instructions easy to follow. I thought it came out really nice, uh, sits really well. And just to kind of give you an idea, you know, if you're holding it in your hand, just about the size of Belle the Unicorn. The second one that I made was the Phoenix Kiki. And this one's a bit bigger, so it's kind of hard to see all of it on screen. But this one, again, even with all the color changes going around, uh, making the wings and what I kind of consider like an intricate tail, this was easy to follow and I didn't have any issues at all. This one, there is quite a few color changes, but again, the way the pattern was written, I didn't have any trouble doing this. As I was going through the book just to see if there was anything else I wanted to add, I came across Molly again. And I thought, what a great gift to give to a child that just lost her first tooth. And I thought this would be really uh, cute to do. And then if you put like a little crocheted little pocket onto the tooth, you could give them also a little uh, pillow for their 
uh, future te little teeth to go into. So that way, uh, when the Tooth Fairy comes again, uh, they'd have a place to keep their tooth safe until the Tooth Fairy came. But I just really like this book. I just wanted to kind of give you an overall look at what's inside of it. So if you were looking at this one and kind of wondering if it was the right book for you, this will give you kind of a idea and just hopefully it gave you some answers to any questions you might have. But if you do have any more questions, please uh, leave a message down in the comments and I'll be glad to answer whatever I can. So this is my uh, just kind of a showing of the book. I do recommend it. And I know that there's a new one that just came out not that long ago that's a follow-up to this book with some more patterns. And I'll probably end up picking that one up too. But I hope you have a great day. And again, if you have any questions, just leave them down below. Thank you.